Hello Internet, Big Dave here, and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I paid zero dollars for Team Fortress 2. Actually, Internet, I, I can't lie to you. I, I really bought the orange box years ago. But Team Fortress 2 is now free to play, so therefore it qualifies for Big Dave is cheap, and I thought we should take a look at it. Hell, everybody's making videos about Team Fortress 2 now that it's free to play, so why should I be left out? So, here you have the basic interface. This is what you will come to when you start the game. And I just noticed I have a little exclamation mark right here. Ooh, I have new items. Do I? Oh, my lord. Fantastic. Look at those. Wow. Shades of the Iron Sheik there for all you wrestling fans. Oh, man. Fantastic. Yeah, I... How can I not put those on? Wait, I think I just broke the game. Oh, fiddlesticks. Okay, so we sorted that out. That that took a little bit of effort, but uh, yeah. So let's... Uh, where do I put my booties on? I don't know. One thing I'll tell you guys is really... Uh, I haven't touched Team Fortress 2 uh, really since around the time they, they launched the Manco shop, the pay shop. I really haven't touched it too much, so... Um, I don't really know what I'm doing. Hmm. Okay, so I found the booties, and they replace my grenade launcher? What? 25% max health increase in turning control while charging. Uh-huh. Mm hmm Okay, so I can yeah I can only assume that this is something designed to go with the shield. Um, as you can already see, Team Fortress 2 has a layer of depth to it beyond it being a simple team-based first-person shooter. It has all these customizable items. It has the uh, uh, the inventory here. You can find items. These are various items that I've picked up. I've never bought anything for this game. Never purchased anything, but I have certainly collected a lot of items. So uh, you can, yeah, you can check out the store. Uh, there are a lot of, let's see, there are a lot of things in the shop. The Cow Mangler 5000. Fantastic. Yeah, so there's tons of things. These items will build into sets. You have bundles that will give you sets. Um, you know, some of these prices are good. There's a sale going on right now. So it may be a nice time to hop into it. Um, you have hats. Fantastic hats. Oh, a derby. Nice. Some Big Dave trivia. A derby is my favorite type of non-standard hat or cap. Uh, in everyday life, I'm going to wear a baseball cap if I need to wear a hat. But were I to need a fancy hat, I would wear a derby. Or if I was a uh, Old West outlaw, I'd wear a derby. They call me the Derby Bandit or some such thing, and I would be very happy with my life. Okay, so there you have it, the shop. There's a lot going on in this game since I've last been in it, so I'm not going to try to um, acclimate myself to it right now. What I'm going to do instead is show you some gameplay. So let's take a look at the server list, let's take a look at the games that are available, and I will be right back with a little gameplay footage for you, so uh, hold tight for a couple of seconds, guys. Okay guys, here we go with a little demo man gameplay on Dust Bowl. Dust Bowl is an attack and defense style map, and I must go ahead and warn you, I'm going to rage a little bit at the end of this clip. Um, you'll see why a little later. Uh, I guess the game has changed a little bit, and uh, in my time away, I didn't really change with it, or something like that. Yeah. So, here we are in the setup phase. This is the defensive team's chance to get uh, turrets set up to get an advantageous position, like looking down on them with a heavy weapons man who has a uh, medic in his pocket. So, here we go. Just raining down death on them right here. Uh, it is a very interesting beginning, Dust Bowl, uh, because the opposing team, or the, the attacking team, is very much... Well, they're very much cornered, so to speak, but at the same time, they have three different exits uh, which they can use to get out. So they have the lower exit, which is just in front of me here. They have this exit that I'm shelling right now, 
and they also have the exit here, the, de well, the one the demo man is camping on. So, what you're going to see is our main goal is going to be to prevent them from ever getting out of here. What better way to win than for uh, our enemy just to never emerge from their spawn. So, we are going to take up a position, which is... Oh, I didn't get that cock. Oh, I wanted that medic so bad, I just didn't get him. So we're going to take up a position which is going to put us in control here. Um, why wouldn't we? Uh, and what we are protecting here is a control point which will take uh, at least one blue team member to capture, and the more they have, the better. Uh, the faster it will capture. So you see the team there using a pretty standard strategy. Demo men from inside are chucking grenades out to try to clear the way. Uh, right here I get a Kritzkrieg from a medic who just advises me, hey, shell him, go, do it, do it, but I grab my bottle and I balls it up. Yep. Nothing like switching to your melee weapon when you have a power-up on you that gives you critical hits. Mm -hmm. So I hope you're kind of getting an idea here what Team Fortress 2 is. I mean, I hope that you've played Team Fortress 2, frankly. I mean, come on, what are you doing if you have it? It's a fantastic game. It's a... It's, it's, the style, the, the weapons, the balance, I mean, it's it's relatively, whoa, relatively well balanced um, for the type of game that it is, and, and they have consistently added new items, and they've kept that balance fairly steady. Uh, I wouldn't say that there's anything in particular that, that feels out of whack, but then again, I have not been playing lately. So, here begins my downward spiral. Um, I've got the Kritzkrieg again, and I am chucking my sticky bombs, my activatable grenades, down into their spawn. Get a lot of kills there, rack up several, several kills. Now, that tactic is... A little nod to my medic there. That tactic is standard. Uh, that tactic has been used since I've played Dust Bowl, and there was a time where I only played Dust Bowl. Uh, I had one server favorited, and that was the server that I played on, and I did nothing but play Dust Bowl. So here we're going to have another round of this, and you notice I start getting these warnings. Zone camping is not allowed. Okay, well, there's a there's a heavy right there who's shelling right into their spawn, who's, who's firing right into their spawn. I'm shelling into their spawn. This is what happens on Dust Bowl. Um, yeah, you have to overcome that. There are three different ways out of the spawn. This should not be difficult. There are also spies who can sneak out. There are also medics who can gain uber charges, which makes someone invincible. You can have multiple medics. You can have multiple uber charges. A little bit of coordination could break this strategy that we're employing here. But instead, they're just kind of hanging out, and they're getting their butts handed to them. And, uh, yeah, I mean, here we go again. Another Kritzkrieg and another barrage of kills and another barrage of... Warnings, yes. I know I'm going to get some warnings. I saw them. Somewhere. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, this is a pretty standard strategy. You have to break this. It's part of playing Dust Bowl. Uh, yes, it, is it cheap? Of course it's cheap, but it's it's par for the course. It's what happens. Uh, and the catch, uh, there is no, uh, I was going to say the catch-22, but the the rub here, the, 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 whole, the whole deal is we've got to deal with this next my team will become the attacking team and we will spawn in that same exact spawn that the, the blue team is trying to get out of now we will end up and there you have it there's the kick we will end up having to deal with the exact same thing so i get kicked for restricted zone camping okay right so that's a standard technique that has been going on since dust bowl existed and i got kicked for it all right whatever <sighs> yeah, so we'll take a look, try to find some other servers. Um, you know, maybe that's just a server-specific rule. They're allowed to have that rule. Um, if the game has changed to that degree, I'm a little bit worried about that. But, um, yeah. So, uh, I, did, I did only get a 10-minute ban, so I can't complain too much about that. And I went back on the server, and I played more, and I didn't get banned again. So, yeah. Well, in the meantime, guys, let's take a look at some scout gameplay while I give you my final thoughts on Team Fortress 2. I didn't really want this video to turn into this, uh, that is to say, to turn into some rage about how I got banned from this server, uh, but unfortunately it did, so deal with it. 
Team Fortress 2. Team Fortress 2 is a fantastic game. Whether or not times have changed and the tactics that I used to use are now considered cheap or camped or whatever, so be it. The game is fantastic. There are a lot more maps and a lot more modes than just Dust Bowl and just Attack and Defense. There's Capture the Flag, which you're seeing here in the background. The fantastic Two Fort map. I'm playing the Scout on Two Fort and I'm trying to get the intelligence and bring it back to my team's base. There are also uh, control points. Capture the control points, hold the control points. You're familiar with the concept. There's also the push mode, where you're pushing a, a cart of munitions or a, a bomb or some such thing. You're pushing it to the enemy's depot or, or whatever, their base. And the more people who are gathered around the cart, the faster it goes. But of course, the cart winds right through open areas and really exposed uh, zones where you can't really do much defense and it gives the defending team, the, the team that's trying to stop you from pushing the cart, a lot of leeway to really, really set up some difficult obstacles. I had hoped to show you some of that gameplay, but uh, I just couldn't find a really good game. Every game I played, we were just getting horribly defeated and uh, I have just enough ego that I didn't want to put up games of me getting horribly, horribly owned by more skilled and more experienced players. So Team Fortress 2 is free to play. That means you can download it and you can play it for free. I don't know that there's anything in this game that actually requires money. All of the items and clothing, the, the shoes that I found earlier, some of the special weapons that I had, the fish that I have on my scout, the cola that I have on my scout that gives me a special buff, all of those things can be acquired through gameplay. They'll be found randomly. They can be crafted. There's a whole crafting system. So... Really, those things are not, they're not required for playing, they're not required for purchase. You can either find them, or you can do just fine with the standard loadout. On my Demo Man, I was using the standard Demo Man loadout, the standard weapons that come with the Demo Man. All I had is my, my little top hat that I got once upon a time. So, it's free to play, and really there's no money required to get an advantage some you know other game that we looked at the other the other free to play that we looked at global agenda uh, you do suffer a little you fall behind a little if you're not willing to pay some money in order to keep up or to level a little bit quicker but with team fortress 2 jump in fantastic frenetic gameplay no reason to shell out any money unless you just really really want to as you saw some of those bundles are on sale for 99 cents you can get the full loadout for your uh, for your scout, for your demo man, for whatever class you want to play. There are a lot of classes, more than I could possibly cover in a video like this, so I would just say give Team Fortress a try. If you've got the hard drive space to spare, there's absolutely no reason that you should not give this game a try. Go ahead, Steam, download it. You know you've got Steam already. Just download it. It's free. Give it a try. Let me know what you think about it. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. And, uh, yeah. Until next time, guys. Catch you later. Wait, that's not my line. Let's do that again. Till next time, guys. Take it easy.